30,000 drones. That's news, right? I'll tell you it's big, big news. On the Drudge Report, headline news, arming of the drones. We click into this article. It's at CBS DC. There's a picture of a weird drone. And uh, the basic gist of it is uh, a bunch of feds trying to arm the drones and a bunch of sheriffs and cops trying to tell you that it's not going to happen as it's happening. I hear a helicopter outside my place right now. If you listen closely, maybe you can hear it. It's kind of a cloudy day, so it would be hard to capture it visually, but I've uh, caught plenty of that lately. In fact, helicopters fly over my residence all day, every day. So, if it was a uh, unmanned drone versus a helicopter, it wouldn't be any different. Can you hear it? It's getting pretty close right now. Okay? I'm pretty sure it's manned, but pretty soon it could be unmanned. Because 30,000 drones, 30,000 divided by 50 states, and California being the most populated state, I'm sure we will have the largest amount of these uh, flying drones. Now, if you've ever seen the movie Terminator, or the newest Terminator Salvation, where the people were, the humans were being put into trains, and the flying uh, Terminator killer or hunter killers uh, were uh, perfectly happy to just mow people down with uh, rapid-fire machine guns, and they were armed to the teeth. And uh, doesn't that sound like a wonderful future? I mean, not everyone's going to be John Connor, okay? So we don't really, we don't really like the idea of that future now, do we? But maybe uh, Dick Cheney can get sent back in time to uh, stop it. I don't know. Do you remember the cartoon G.I. Joe? They're making a new movie, right? Uh, G.I. Joe 2. It's coming out in theaters this summer, I believe. If you're familiar with that old cartoon, uh, whenever a plane or an aircraft or a helicopter or a dragonfly helicopter was uh, hit with gunfire or a missile, and uh, maybe even that plane exploded, well, it was a cartoon for kids. So even the Cobra, at the last second, they, you'd always uh, see a parachute, and you'd always see, a, or you'd see an ejection, and most times you'd see a parachute or uh, some sort of safe landing in water. Around that same time, uh, they started coming out with some other shows, like uh, Transformers and, and different robots. And we realized that, well, we can't really kill these uh, humans on these kiddie cartoons. We can kill robots, and... Uh, monsters and aliens. Well, here's my point. Last week, Judge Napolitano from Freedom Watch, formerly of Freedom Watch, uh, was saying that the first person to knock a drone out of the sky would be some kind of hero. D. Lake for Prez is not advocating any of that. He's not calling for any of that. But I'm taking a look at the possibility of that happening. And I can tell you this much. If one of these helicopters flying around my neighborhood right now was shot down by someone, it, there would most likely be a murder unless they ejected and parachuted like G.I. Joe. Okay, there would be dead uh, helicopter pilots. No one wants that. But when it comes to a drone, it's just like a Transformers robot or a Terminator robot, right? If we, if we were, if, if someone was to uh, shoulder cannon one of those, hey, that's just destruction of property. And since it was paid for with tax dollars, you know, I'm not really sure how people would feel about that. You destroyed some property that we paid for. We're just mad that you that you that you blew it up. We were we were starting to feel really safe with all these uh, dragonflies overhead. We'll feel even safer if they have tasers, and we will definitely feel a lot better if they're able to deliver tacos. Okay. So just walk up to the streetlight, be like, "Hello, streetlight. Um, I would like uh, two double deckers." Uh, extra fire sauce, uh, maybe a, a large Mountain Dew, I know that's got a lot of caffeine that I like, and um, so how long, how long do you think that's going to be? Oh, I hear them coming right now, sweet, I love these, I love these drones, I love these we drones. We have all this remote control technology that we didn't have on 9-11, right? <laughs> all right. I guess I covered some headline news, and before I end the show, uh, I just wanted to show something to you guys and to uh, Bennett. Here's uh, my social security card. It's legitimate. It's mine. And uh, here's a certificate of live birth. 
or a birth certificate of mine. It was handwritten, and uh, it's got official stamps. It's got embossed, engraved uh, stamp things. Look how easy it was for me to show you that. So simple. I think it only took about 30 seconds, right?